Hey gents, today I have a new pickup from Undone Watches and this is a cool brand because when I find some watches, there's usually like one small thing I'd like to change about the watch, whether it's like the hand color or something on the dial and Undone Watches allows you to customize almost anything in the watch. So what we'll do is we'll talk about the customizer and go through the process there, then I'll unbox it and then we'll talk about the watch itself. But for sub $300 watches and a Mecha Quartz movement, I'd say this is a pretty good deal. So I'll put links to Undone below if you want to check them out. And uh, let's start off with the customizer and then we'll get to the unboxing. So when you shop Undone, you can choose from one of the models that are already available. They have the Aqua and a the Sunray. They have a vintage, you can see like the Speedy type model right there. And you can also then choose one of the models and then start to go to customize. So I started off with the Urban Vintage. I don't have any model that is like that in my collection. And they have a few preset models if you'd like to go with that one, or you can go into the full customizer. Within the customizer, I really like that you can see exactly what the model will look like in a very nice 3D rendering. But then from there, you can start to choose your dial. So they have vintage, modern, sunray, and a limited edition model. You can then even add initials or an engraving. I believe there's a large number of watches that go out as like a gift for a celebration of an event. You could put a date in there uh, or something up like that. Then you can choose what type of metal you want. So if you want a standard stainless steel, they have a, a black stainless steel, they have a black gold and rose gold as well. And then from there you can choose the design of the hands. If you want hour and minute, you can also choose what type of hand style they have baton and then they even go down to the color so you can get super detailed on what you're looking for in the colors you can even go with a slim so if you want like a simple Bauhaus looking style you can go for that uh, it's a little bit garish so I'll go in there and, and change a couple of these here but you can really get down to every tiny detail of the watch I just love blued steel hands you can then choose what type of strap you want so if you want like an alligator print they have different colors and styles of the alligator. If you're looking for more of a fabric, a nylon, a leather, so you can go in and choose each of the straps there and there's colors for each of them. And then on the back, you can choose if you want a solid case back or you can do a glass case back and for $20 more, you get a photo printed, which is what I took advantage of. So we'll show you what that looks like. But even here, you're looking at a watch at $295 for a Seiko Mecha Quartz Movement 316L steel. There's not sapphire crystal on here, but it is a hardened K1 mineral. But $300 for a nearly fully customized watch is pretty sweet. So then you add it to the cart, 100% made to order, 12 month warranty, and then they ship in just a few weeks. So I placed my order, and now let's get to the unboxing experience. As you can see from the rendering to in person, the watch looks identical. And also, I did make that many adjustments. I really like the way the watch looks. I love the steel blued hands that are standard. I did pick the loomed dials here and the lollipop chronograph hand. And then I chose the fabric weave strap and I had this on, but then I was also just trying it out with the uh, Theo and Harris type one strap. And I really like, I like the look uh, on the fabric strap. It makes me think of like a true field or like a camping watch, but the uh, Type 1 strap looks pretty good too. And the way that it wears on the wrist in the fabric strap reminds me a lot of the, you know, I had my Seamaster on the NATO for most of the summer, and it wears a little bit bigger because it has the fabric underneath, but I'm now like really used to that size, but I don't want to say it wears small, it's 12.75 millimeters with the domed crystal, but it doesn't wear that big either, it's pretty easy to slip under the cuff, and at 40 millimeters, it is not that big either. So you have the chronograph pushers on the side here, a great action on the chronograph hand, and then there's also the stamped crown, which is not screw down, 
but you can pull it out slightly so that you can wind the watch and then you can pull it out fully so you have this really fluid movement in the seconds hands and that feels really good uh, it feels a lot like one of the Seiko watches that I used to have and you can definitely tell that that is Seiko parts within the watch. All of the undone watches are made in Hong Kong, 30 meter water resistance, so I wouldn't be showering in this watch, but I'm definitely not afraid to wash my hands with it. And then as you saw in the customizer, you have the choice between the steel back or the see-through case back, and then I went with the customization on here because I really like that look. So undone watches starting at 265, then depending on the customizations, you're gonna be around $300 for a Hong Kong made watch with a Seiko movement, but having that customization option is so cool. Especially, you know, if this was a nostalgic piece, I'd either put some sort of engraving on the back, like a birthday, graduation, or if you really wanted to, you could put something on the dial too. And it's really not that expensive. They deliver in about four weeks. As you can see, my order date was on the 5th here and it came in less than a month. And on this thing, it says the first customizable retro watch. I've heard it referred to as vintage because it really does look like, you know, a military issued field watch from the 1940s and 50s, which I have always liked this design. You can see it in the typeface used on the numbers, and then it has a telemeter as well as a tachymeter as part of the function. And I find myself more and more trying to time things with the bezel on my Seamaster instead of actually having like a chronograph. And so that's why the last couple of watches I've looked at have been chronographs as well. So, you know, as you're building out your collection, it's good to have a diver, like a sport watch, it's good to have a chronograph and then a dress watch. Those are like the three watches I think you need uh, if you want to have just a really nice minimal collection. Three watches, not too bad. And if the field chronograph design is not for you, they also have the aqua, but then you can choose, you know, subcategories within there. And so that is Undone Watches. If you have any questions about Undone, anything I can try and answer down in the comments below, you can also reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. I am pretty satisfied with my watch collection as it is today, but I'm so always so curious about what else is out there in the market. It's kind of like the rest of my closet. I got plenty of sweaters, but I still look at them so that I can make sure I give you uh, my opinions because I think you guys like them. But love to hear from you guys in the comments. Until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier.